All right, gotta find a new lens. Gotta find the lens dealer for that. What? What? Okay, what do we have? What do we have? What do you got for me today? This, this looks nice. broken, sir. A little bit broken, but I make you a good price. You sure it works? Ooh. Oh! What? Alright guys, welcome to a new episode. Today we've got the weirdest lens literally that I've ever tried. This is a tilt lens, which means it actually rotates funny. It actually shifts on the side. It's like tilting. That's literally the name of the lens. It's tilting. It's supposed to have like some weird effect. If you look at it, it just looks so strange. You know, like, what is this gonna do? Well, I'm gonna spare you the explanations and I'm gonna show you exactly how it works and what you can create with it. It's gonna be my first time really shooting with it, so I'm kind of curious how it's gonna work. It's also equivalent to a 50 millimeter f1.4 lens. And honestly, I've seen interesting results with tilt lenses. We're talking about like shifted focal points, shifted focal planes, where like part of the image is blurry, part of it is like in focus, but in the same plane, it's Ah, it's hard to explain. It's a good one. You gotta taste it to know if it's good or not. So, let's go POV style and then try it right away. Woo! All right, the first thing to know with this lens is that I have never used it except taking a photo of my keyboard at home. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. So, there's two things. Zero to 90 degree, which is to direct the angle of the tilt you want in your photo, right? So, this is gonna tilt it this way, but if you turn the camera this way, you can do it for portrait photos. And what it's doing, okay, I'm gonna try to give you a little bit of an explanation, okay? It's not gonna be perfect. But what it's doing is that it's shifting the, the plane that you're gonna be shooting. So as you can see, let's go. First of all, it's a manual lens and you can get like super miniature effects with that. Look at this. Okay, this is zero. This is like normal lens. And now I shift it and look, this side only of the image is going to be in focus. It's so strange and all this side is, is not. So, wow, this is so weird. Okay, let's take a photo and then let's take a photo like this. Wait, of these guys over there. Boom. You see how strange that is? Look, scooter, boom, sharp. That is literally the weirdest thing ever right now. I don't know how we're gonna use it, but apparently you may, you can give an effect of everything being a little miniature. So, and also for portraits, I heard it's amazing. So why don't we just try a little bit? First, we're gonna play with that Chicago sign. Maybe I'm gonna tilt it down. And it's actually a kind of lens that's really helpful for uh, architectural photography because you can shift your perspectives a little bit to correct them. But with that, apparently comes also a lot of focus changes. So it's gonna be a little strange. Look at this. Wow. Okay. Let's try this. Oh my God, it's so strange. Wait, wait, where's the car? Where's the car? Yeah. You see, like if I'm pointing upward, and then I'm putting it down, we're getting a completely different perspective on those buildings. So let's try with this train station in focus. And then let's try with the top of the building. And I might increase, so this is a F4, might go to 2.8 because that looks a little intense. And let's see how it's gonna feel like. What if we get this car? Wow, this is so weird, guys, look at this. This is epic. In a way, it's really, really interesting. Okay, I wanna try on portraits. Oh, and today is the hinge, so we're gonna have that beautiful east-west alignment of the sun with the avenue. Actually, it's the beginning of the, the hinge. It's not gonna be perfect. Wow, this lens is a lot harder than I thought to get my head around. So while I'm trying to figure this out, why don't I share with you a solution so that you can make extra money with your photography and your videos that you have laying around and that do nothing. And for that, I'm gonna welcome a sponsor of the day, Wirestock.io. Wirestock allows you to sell your photography and your video on all major marketplaces from a single account. Shutterstock, Getty Images, Adobe Stock, Elami, Pond5, DreamSite, and many more. It's super easy to submit. You have high quality keywording and captioning for each photo and video for free and 
you can handle everything from your one account. On top of that, you can have the Wirestock portfolio, which is literally a portfolio for yourself that you can use as a personal shop to sell content directly as collections individually or as print. And the best part is that Wirestock commission is only 15% of the paid royalty, which means that you're keeping the 85% remaining and goes straight to your creator's balance. So if you want to make some extra money with what you shoot, check out wirestock.io. The link is in the description. Okay, let's see if we can take photos from a lower angle. This is 50 millimeters, so uh, let's try. What if I do this? What? Oh, this is so strange. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, let's see if we can see. Nope, they're not in focus. I don't know why I can't get further than. I feel like the infinity is not infinity. I don't know if that makes sense. You see, I'm supposed to be on infinity now. But it doesn't feel like I'm anything in focus over there. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like. Let's go a little higher. This guy on the skate. Oh, the skate guy. He had a hat, it looked really cool. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I think we got it here. I know! Get the dust, Joey! Huh? Did you get the dust? I'm having such a hard time getting infinity focus. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, keep walking, keep walking. No, no. Okay, keep walking, keep walking. Yeah. Yeah, this is strange. Oh my god, this is so hard. How does this work? Is this sorcery? Trying something here where she would be a little bit in focus and the background wouldn't or like nothing else than her so I'm shifting a little bit the lens right there and trying to get the shot but I don't think it's working out exactly how I want it's actually like super hard oh my god it's so strange do you see how it did it's like a diagonal of, of focus points of a focal plane wow it's so strange so strange okay let's see let's try again you see you guys see what i mean wow so weird all right let's continue let's go over there let's try to get it with the train i think it's gonna look epic so let's try can we get the train in focus a little bit and the bottom I don't know. Or just the cars? Uh. Oh, that kind of worked, but I, I don't think those shots are cool. Honestly, it just makes... It's just weird. But not in, in the best way right now. I think I need a little more practice here with this. So let's try. All right. Let's try and see. So this is it. It's pretty hard to get it to focus exactly where I want. So let's see how we can get do this. All right, I've got my focus right there on this line. As you can see, the top of the train is going to be out of focus. So I'm going to wait for that person to cross. We'll see what it looks like. And I think. I think the side photos, like in landscape, might be actually cooler. 
so it's yeah I don't want to get it run over right now Okay, what if, what if we actually use it like this? Okay, and we're trying to get people, for example, crossing over there. Wait. Uh... Oh, this is so strange. Look at this. Look at these portraits. Oh, we lost the light. Damn it. Okay, let's say this train is coming by and we're going for the focus on the train. Now we're gonna get, yeah, kind of things around the train to be out of focus, you see? So the train and the car are in focus, which is completely impossible in normal circumstances with a normal a lens. Too late. Yeah, it's okay, you. You made me miss all my good <laughs> I'm joking. What? Nothing. Okay. So if I tilt upwards, we can see the lines are going a little funky. But if I do this, we're actually, I think, helping the perspective. But I'm not sure. I know the tilt part, which this is not... No, shift part. This is not a shift lens. This is a tilt lens, okay? So, but look what's happening to the building. Even if we shoot that wide open right now, Look what's happening. Isn't it the, the weirdest thing ever? Look, and now if we go like this. It's so strange. Joey, I gotta take a portrait of you. It's so strange. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah, just face this way. This way? Yeah, we've got nice bo bokeh. Look at this. So for portraits, apparently it's used a lot because look what's happening. The top and the bottom of the image are like completely out of focus and Joey's focus is right on his eyes. And even the bottom of your mouth, bro, is like out of focus. It's, it's kind of strange. It's like actually very strange. You look strange now. Not you, just but... Just now? Just now? It's it's the lens. Look at this. Oh yeah, you actually there's a filter on the eye of on Instagram it's where you. It's not have the to, same. With I the know filter. it's not the same, but it's like, not the same. Sorry, don't try to replace photography with filters. With, with, you heard him. With software and technical solutions. Are you like saying cinema? this is as good as this? Yeah. Look, look at this. this it looks exactly the same. Does it? No, it doesn't. Um, but this one has cinematic mode. Oh wow! So even if you're not on a budget but you can afford a thousand dollar phone you yeah. can have cinematic mode yeah i mean that's what they're trying to sell you in the ads mm. so again okay, so the strangest thing joey is this look i'm gonna show you guys so joey's eyes are in focus now but what's also in focus is the background it is weird it is very very strange one sec one sec joey don't keep it up keep it up perfect look at this so you're in focus. Oh my god, I look tired. But also this. Oh. Which what? is yeah, right? <laughs> look. So it's you and the background, which is impossible normally. Well. Okay, so let's try to do a reflection shot now and see what happens. Oh wow. Reflection shot is actually really funky. Like really, really funky. Wow, okay, okay, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy, I'll tell you why. Dude, this is crazy, look at this. You can have, Ooh. is my bike still there? Looks like it. Triangle fall. Yeah, but I can't see your face anymore. Uh. So just go in, go in there. Ooh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Let's try, let's try. 
Let's go ISO manual. Oh wow, okay, strange. Had a long day at work. Don't pretend like you're working. Huh? Don't pretend like you're working. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Look on the side. Beautiful. Look up, look up, 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 up. Oh, further up. Reach for the stars. Your star. You guys can tell we went to Coldplay concert. Fucking. It's like the. We queued very early on. <laughs> yeah, basically pinched all all the Stranger Things uh, season. Wow, this is this is good. Very yeah, the fall, the fall it was way stronger here. Oh, I forgot. We can do this too. Look. Oh, what's happening now? Oh wow! Look at this now. Wow, wow, we. Okay, look back up here. Very nice. Oh yes. Wow, this is kind of cool. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Very nice. Wow. Okay, this is so strange. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like those. Nice ear. How <laughs> <laughs> you focusing on the ear? It's so strange. Oh, I get it now. Okay. Wow, okay, okay. Do you, do you see what's happening? So his body, like Joey said, his body is like not really in focus like it would normally. Joey, your body is, is funky. I can put the camera up, maybe it makes it even more obvious. Yeah, your body is, is funky now. No one ever said It's so that strange. Me. So, look. Your lens and, and your face is in focus, but they're not in the same focal plane. <laughs> and look, we've got this in focus too. One sec. Oh yeah, it's very. What the fuck? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Insane. All right, so TV going on now. What happens if we shift this way or this way? If we shift this way, look, we can have. You see? It's it's kind of cool. Wow, this is really cool. I think the effect is really really obvious here. Look at this. Look at these shots now. Huh? Look at these shots. It's so strange. It's not supposed to happen. I mean, it's not supposed. It's not supposed to happen with those, with the way we were taught. Uh, I wish this was like a wide angle. This would be really cool in a wide angle. Imagine on the wide angle, you would basically be able to get a lot more in the shot, which would be epic. That's pretty cool. I gotta say, those are pretty trippy. I'm not used to that. And we're gonna have the craziest effect ever. Okay. okay, and now we're gonna wait for someone to walk by. And it's gonna look really epic. And whoop. Nice. How cool is that? I don't know honestly if I would use it every day, but if, you, if you're trying to try something different. Wow, wow, I think, th I, I think this is epic, right? Look at this. How? How cool is that? What a motorcycle. Oh, that is a little too soft.
see how it does if we try to shoot make it a little more architectural uh, again it's doing this so let's see what happens wow okay this is cool now we can really see the effect you see guys we can even choose if we want just the trump to be in focus the rest of the building not just the left, right side of the image wow this is so interesting and this is how you can create like miniature effect kind of look we go this way and we shoot a little bit like that i really want a wide angle for this look at this it looks like it's a miniature land you see wow look at this it's so cool oh my god it's so strange can we miniaturize this boat for example it's interesting so let's see yeah it kind of looks like it's a tiny boat now ah uh, look at this what is happening huh that's epic look the boat is gonna look like a tiny boat oh i think i underexposed everything but that's okay here we go look at this and then look you can have just this part or just the boat in focus or or just the name on the left side wait here basically your plane of, of focus is like shift is like <laughs> tilted all right that's my life i promise winning Wow, this is so interesting. I love their shots. Came out really interesting. Oh, and last thing to notice is that if you put it at 45 degree, you end up with a focal plane that is diagonal. Look, so we can have the direction of this boat and the other boat in the same plane of focus. You see? Wow, this is so crazy. What? Dude, Joey, look at this. If you put it at 45 degree angle, you get a 45 degree angle of, of focus plane. Oh. You see the diagonal is in focus? Yeah. Insane, right? Boat. Yeah. Wow. Miniature boat. Pretty cool. Have you ever tried those lenses? It's been a real surprise on SD to me because I thought it would be a little easier to visualize, but it takes a lot of brain power to imagine the plane of focus tilting in one way or another. And if you're using a shift lens, also tilt and shift, that gets even more complex. So let me know in the comments. And also remember the next 30 day adventure to great photos session is starting soon. If you wanna get your photography to the next level and be able to see great photos, no matter what kind of gear you're using, this will be for you. The link is in the description. I'll wait for you there. And with that being said, guys, get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new.